After more than four years in federal prison, THC Minister Roger Christie was released this morning to a halfway house here on Oahu. And although he and his wife admitted to trafficking marijuana with a plea deal in a plea deal with prosecutors, Christie continues to claim it was all a setup. KITV force Andrew Pereira was the only TV reporter to interview Christie after his release, and he joins us now with more. Andrew. Well, Yunji and Kenny, Christie remains defiant, saying he'll continue to legalize to fight for the legalization of marijuana here in Hawaii and elsewhere. Moments after being released from Honolulu's Federal Detention Center, ordained THC Minister Roger Christie flashes a victory sign with both hands and delivers a message to his many supporters. Thank you for the love and support all this time. We've still got a big job to do. Christie, his wife Cher, and members of his church were arrested in July 2010 for conspiracy to distribute marijuana. Roger received five years in federal prison and four years of supervised release in a plea deal with prosecutors. With more than 50 months already served behind bars, he's on his way to the Mahoney Holly halfway house before heading back to the Big Island. In seven days, I can get a furlough to leave the, the premises, and uh, November 14th, I get to fly home. Christie says he ran his THC ministry in Hilo for nearly 10 years without fear of being arrested. Christie claims he received assurances from law enforcement he would be left alone. But he says that all changed when he helped spearhead a Big Island ballot initiative in 2008 that made personal use of marijuana on private property the lowest law enforcement priority for cops. The movement was known as Project Peaceful Sky. It was because we cut away the, the federal grants from helicopter eradication on the Big Island that the local HPD called the DEA and said, we got to stop this guy some kind of way. In 1978, Christie ran for mayor of Denver, Colorado on a pro-marijuana platform. While he was in prison, his home state legalized recreational use for those 21 and older. So I planted a little seed of consciousness back in the day. I'm so proud of my, uh, my home state uh, really being the leader in the world now for compassionate uh, treatment of, their, uh, of the people that need it the most. With Hawaii's Marijuana Dispensary System Task Force saying just this week there's no legal way for patients to obtain marijuana, Christie is vowing to ride a wave of momentum for complete legalization. Now all I got to do is paddle a little bit and I think I can stand up on this wave of, of all the support for, for liberating cannabis, for all the great things that it can do for people. It's going to become known as mandatory for good health. Christie will be doing some campaigning with Libertarian gubernatorial candidate Jeff Davis, who picked him up this morning after he was released from federal prison. Kenny, back to you. All 